And we're also very honored to have Senator Kenny here today. Kenny here today, who is uh, exploring a run, should I say, for governor? <laughs> We are running. We are running. Um, I just want to thank everyone for being here today, and I'm going to make a, a few brief comments. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the New Hampshire Tax Advance Coalition for bringing forth the pledge, and I am proud to sign the pledge here today. Uh, it's no secret that uh, we've had historic spending of Governor Lynch's budget, and um, earlier in the session, I had a spending cap on state budget requests which was just defeated by the uh, Democratic Senate Control Legislature. It was Senate Bill 354. This pledge is an idea whose time has come. It is a movement to keep New Hampshire, New Hampshire. The pledge does one thing. It protects taxpayers. In the memory of Clarence Martin, a local longtime citizen of Wakefield, I'm reminded how he fought for local taxpayers at traditional town meeting. Clarence would cuss. He would fuss over additional spending at these town meetings. He would fight over a nickel to prevent unnecessary spending at the local level. Clarence lived the pledge. It is clear there is a tax revolt going on here in New Hampshire. Citizens want to keep New Hampshire, New Hampshire. You don't have to look too far to know that there's been a, a tax revolt in Dover. There's been now a, a soon to be tax revolt in Rochester. There was a town in my district which voted down a public safety building, even though their fire station was condemned by the state fire marshal because the taxpayers couldn't afford the new public safety building. There is a tax revolt going around New Hampshire. And I want to make sure that we keep New Hampshire, New Hampshire. Let there be no doubt, we are being backed into a, a sales and income tax by Governor John Lynch spending. Anytime you see historic spending in state government, someone's got to pay for it. And you just know just recently that the Educational Constitutional Amendment was defeated. It was defeated by his party. He got run over by his party's bus, and it was backed up three times and ran back over the governor. They want an income tax, there's no doubt about it. But as long as people like myself and Mayor Ginter and the people behind me are going to sign that pledge, and stand up for New Hampshire families and for the New Hampshire values, there will not be an income tax here in New Hampshire. Thank you very much.